Hello and welcome back to Wild Sun Art Studio. My name is Robinson. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you very much. We are making a really wild and crazy, it's a version of a regular ring paper chain, but obviously these are not rings. Um, I hope you can sort of see them here. Uh, let's go down to this end. Da, da, da. You see, it's really kind of a square. Um, so what we need is some cardstock to make this paper chain. Now, um, again, this is eight and a half by 11, but a4 works just fine. Colored cardstock is fun because colors are fun. Um, or you could, you know, use crayons and color the paper if you didn't happen to have any colored. So you could like scribble draw all over it in two or three colors and then it would be really yummy. Okay, so anyway, we need cardstock and we need to cut it into, I used three quarters of an inch which is about two centimeters. Um, so you can do that. I am also having some sort of a, I don't know, wonkericious um, morning here, and I'm having a very hard time following the actual ruler. So this is a plastic ruler but it means I can see through it to where a quarter of an inch is and I don't have to make any pencil marks on the cardstock, which is great. Um, but then I'm actually supposed to follow the ruler like I'm not doing here, um, but not cut into the ruler, which is a little bit of an ask for me this morning. I don't know why. Yeah, but um, so it would be better if you have like a really great paper cutter, a guillotine type or one of those ones with the um, ring rollers, whatever they're called. Um, yeah, and then even if you're having a wonky morning, you'll probably be able to get straight cuts. Okay, so now we have all of our papers cut, and now we have a whole bunch of um, papers. So the other thing that you will need for this project is some sort of a stapler. It does not have to be, this is a Tim Holtz Ideology Mini Attacher. Uh, it doesn't have to be that kind. Um, it can be a regular stapler that works just fine. So you'll take your strip and fold it in half and then open it up and fold the ends to the middle. And this doesn't have to be super perfect. Although sometimes that's just good practice for when we have wonky mornings. So there's sort of our square, except that's not exactly what this square looks like. So what we're gonna do is take these two ends and put them together like that, right? Let's get some of the background noise out of your way. So we've got the, the two ends together like this, and I'm going to put a staple right there. One of the reasons I like using this tiny attacher is it's a little easier on my hands, um, and I can hold the papers where I want them and, and come in and easily squeeze the stapler. So if I didn't put any more staples in, that would be an intriguing um, shape, but we're going to put more staples in and make 
a really great diamond. So I'm just going over to these other folded edges and putting a staple in. And you see what that does to the um, little diamond. It, it turns that sort of petal shape and into a diamond. So there. There you can see it. So we've got four staples on the four corners and that's our shape. All right, now to get the next one in, we um, do the same fold, fold it in half, fold to the middle and to the middle. Now, before we put any staples in, feed that through the loop before. Bring the ends together. And staple that. And then just spin it around so you get the other three edges. And now you've got these two diamondy shapes linked together. This is a very weird <laughs> paper chain. You know, like you can hang it up and sort of stretch it out a little, but basically it's a very weird shape of paper chain. But that's what we've got. So, um, one piece of eight and a half by 11. I measured this the other day. You know, if you kind of stretch it out a little bit, there's one foot get a little bit more than two feet or 60 you probably get at least 70 centimeters and um, uh, 24 26 inches out of this depending on how much you're actually stretching it when you um, put it up on your walls and celebrate who or whatever you are celebrating So I've got this through the link before and now I'll just go around, whoops, oh no, there we go, all is well. And you just keep going and you talk to your friends and you have fun thinking about celebrating who or whatever you are celebrating. This is yellow so maybe we're going to celebrate and at the moment it's July so maybe we're going to celebrate the August sun or the summer sun or something like that. Or maybe your high school basketball team colors um, include yellow. So if you wanted to um, add another color in, you just cut the strips of the two, three, four, ten other colors you want and, um, you know, sort of lay them out in piles. Um, and just go down the pile and take one of red and one of yellow and one of pink and one of blue. You ever hear that song? I actually was in Maine at summer camp as a young, young woman, a young uh, a teenager. Why is this being really, oh, wait, stop, stop. Sorry, I didn't feed it through. 
That's what happens when you talk and art at the same time. Um, anyway, I was here in Maine when I learned this song, red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. You can make a rainbow, make a rainbow, make a rainbow too. Sorry, it's first thing in the morning and my voice is a little raspy. But you get the idea. Music and color go together. So, just in case you were curious, and maybe you weren't, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, I've been making paper chains and thinking up new ways to make paper chains for a bunch of years now. And um, I made the decision a little while ago, a month or so ago, to um, put this all on YouTube. Like, it would be really fun if it was a class or a book. Um, I would love to make this into a book. But, um, yeah, at the moment, this seems like an appropriate place to, to put all this knowledge that I have. So anyway, I've been making prototypes of all the... I mean, I'm slowly getting through the list. It's a very long list of all the paper chains that I want to teach you. And um, I'm just hanging them on the wall, waiting until I get around to making a video about them. So it's a really cool wall to look at because it has all these different colors and all these different paper chains, so different shapes and styles. Um, I was thinking about, could you do this with glue? And you could, it would just take a while because you'd want the, each one of these corners to be really solidly glued together. Um, I would recommend wet glue if you did that, but really stapling is so much easier. So this chain is going to be a little bit less than the, excuse me, I'm yawning. Um, it isn't you, it's me. Um, a, a little bit less than the 26 inches that the blue one is because I made this crazy um, link without, I stapled it before. I put it into the paper chain. It's going to take a minute to get the staple out and redo that. But we will see. Oops, fold it first in half to the middle, to the middle, and then feed this through the link. I will say you want to be sure you have the actual end because this is such a sort of mashed up um, chain. It's it's not like a regular paper chain where you can sort of tell what's the end and what's the middle. One more link. One more link. In half. Fold to the middle. Fold to the middle, take the ends, feed it through the last link. I don't know, I just love how pointy this is, how unlike a regular ring chain this is, even though you make this with strips of paper exactly like a ring chain. Oh, by the way, I did say, right, you, you cut this the long way, the 11 inch way or the, what is it, uh, 29 centimeter way, the longest way of the paper, not the short way. Um, you really, I mean, you can do it the other way, um, absolutely. It's just these diamonds will get smaller. 
There we go. Isn't this a cool chain? I mean, it just looks so pokey. So I wish you in your life that um, you have places that are not pokey unless you are looking for direction and then I wish you an arrow or a pokiness or a nudge or a little gentle tap on the shoulder which shows you the way in a very clear and concise manner. So um, yes, I wish us all blessings on our way. walk through the world. Have a great celebratory way with sparkles of light in your path, and I will see you next time. Bye.